Hey everybody, Corey here, and on today we have a screencast for you about a, an application I've been using for a little bit now, uh, probably about two months, called Mailplane. And what Mailplane does is it brings your Gmail onto your desktop. Now, it's got some pros and cons to it, but I want to take you on a little tour of the application so you can decide for yourself. So, check out the screencast. Okay, so this is Mailplane. Now, as you look at it right now, it's no different than your basic web interface. Uh, but this is, in fact, a desktop client. And they've built it in such a way that you can actually have it as, uh, as a desktop client and have all the built-in features that you'd have in Mail or other things like that, other applications, maybe Mail, Thunderbird, and the such. So up here, just to go through some of these bars up here, we have uh, overview, open and refresh for some of your buttons. And this is actually something built, custom that I've done uh, away from what it comes built as. Uh, I've added star and archive to this group of buttons here, but out of, straight out of installation, we have new, reply to message, forward, send, and discard. And then here on the end, uh, I also added Google Talk, but we also have screenshot, email, media, downloads, and accounts. Now more of the stuff that you're gonna get if we look into preferences. Uh, under advanced, we can actually choose to have Mailplane be our default mail application. Uh, however, I don't use, I use mail a lot for everything, so I keep mail my default. You can tweak it a little bit. You can do some confirmations like when quitting mail plane so you don't accidentally uh, quit in the middle of writing an email. Open your external links in the background. Uh, you can always compose messages in a new window if you like. And some other customizations right here in tweak. Photos, when you're adding a photo, you actually open up your iPhoto library. You just drag that in and this is what your defaults are when you drag in a picture. So you don't want to take up a lot of room when sending a picture. It'll go under different qualities here. So you can have low, medium, high, and I believe probably maximum. Oh, no, small, medium, and large. And then you can kind of tweak it a little bit. You'll have an accounts page where you can actually add accounts. And then you'll have your general page. So you can set it up to check for rec. Uh, updates automatically and different things play with your sounds so when you get a new message you'll hear a different sound let's zoom out of there though and let's just compose a new message and I'm actually going to uh, drop a photo in there like I said it opens right into your iPhoto see the picture I want to attach and it's going to do everything as this Gmail would do it, and then we'll just enter in an email address. Now, other things that you can do with InMailPlane is you can actually apply labels. So, as you see, I have a lot of things labeled over here. Uh, but if I wanted to apply a label, I could just go up to, I could select the what I wanted to label, and I could just go down to Command L here, or Apply Remove Label, and apply that label. Here's my list that I have. Now, unfortunately, right now I'm running Snow Leopard, and the latest version of Mailplane is not 100% Snow Leopard capable. So there is a bug right now when trying to add a label. Normally, you could actually add a label within the screen. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, uh, if I add, try to add one right now, it's not going to add. And that's just a discrepancy between Snow Leopard and Mailplane. Uh, but normally, I can select as many messages and it's set to go from there. More you can go through in here is you can do report your spam, you can mute a conversation, mark as read if you wanted to, uh, mark as unread, different items as such. Now over here, a screenshot. Now when you're typing an email, you can actually take a screenshot. If, like right here, I can't do anything because I'm not typing this email, but anytime you're actually typing, uh, so if I go to reply, you'll see the screenshot button lights up and I can actually take a snapshot of what I want. 
for your email button actually uses your built-in address book. Uh, so that makes it very handy. You don't have to have all your information up in Google. You can use have it all in your address book, and it will fetch from there. Downloads is going to pull everything that you've downloaded. It's going to show you, just kind of like Firefox and Safari does. But the nice, the best feature for me is fast user switching. So if we click on accounts here, and I open up one of my other email accounts, you can actually see I just switched that instantly to another account. And I can go through and I can read my mail. Here's that picture that I sent myself. And, but it's easy peasy. Now, as far as everything else is concerned, let's say I want to add a new account. So we're going to do that right now. This is going to be a special address I use for my podcast, Tech Hijack. So it's just going to be Tech Hijack at CoreyHarris.me. Right. You set up a custom identification. And it's that simple to set up. Now when I want to actually access it, I just double click that. It's going to ask for my information. Okay, so it goes through all of this. And again, it works just like everything else that you have in Gmail. Another big thing is you can, because it's basically a small web browser, you have access to your settings. So anything that you want to do, be it through labs, to check off certain things in labs that you like to use, be it multiple mailboxes or anything like that, you have full access to and it will show off in this. Okay, so Mailplane is a little bit on the pricey side. It's $24.95, but you can get a family pack of licenses for $15, and that's five licenses. So I don't know why there's such a price difference, but it's probably worth getting the family pack instead. Uh, then you just give out licenses for Christmas, Bar Mitzvahs, Hanukkah, Easter, Mother's Day, I don't know. But I would probably go that route, but before you even buy it, give it a try for 30 days. It has come in amazingly handy for me, uh, just because I don't like going to all the websites, signing in, signing out, and ending up with a huge mess of Googleness. So you can check out the application, download it, and buy it if you choose at mailplaneapp.com.